In the mid-1880s, when Coca-Cola had cola nuts and cocaine in its formula, the drink was advertised as a remedy curing all those who were suffering with any nervous complaints. With a stronger stimulant than coffee and tea, the cola nut has been long chewed by West Africans for its high caffeine content. But for centuries, the fruit has served a range of religious, social, economic and health functions for West African peoples. In the Volta region of Ghana, it was common for teenagers in the 1960s to experiment making their own cola nut drinks for fun, fermenting the nut for a day in a bottle with water and sugar. Today, we can still see the nut being used, from marriage ceremony symbols in the Gambia and offerings alongside prayers in Iboland to simply a casual snack shared between friends. Archaeological digs have revealed a thriving cola nut trade between the Western and Sahel regions of Africa, dating back to the 11th century. But it was in 1880, when the nut featured in British publication, New Commercial Plants, that British and American interest in the nut's medicinal properties rapidly surged. Cola nuts were claimed to successfully counter seasickness, impaired indigestion and diarrhea, to allay fatigue and hunger, to sustain muscular strength, and much more. Which makes sense as to why 